Hello, YouTubers. My name is Ben Rudnick, and I'm with Smart Center South Charlotte. Today, I want to talk with you a little bit about safety in the Smart 4.2 and how it got its five star safety rating given by the National Institute of Highway Safety. Or you can find more information on how the car got its five star safety rating at safercar.gov. Now, these tests that the car was put through are standardized crash tests that every single car out here on the, on the streets in the United States has been through. It's how they get those five star ratings. And there's no six star, and this car received five stars. And I'm going to begin with basically the Tritian safety cell. This is the Tritian safety cell. It's what you're riding inside of the whole entire car, or the whole, pretty much the whole smart is this Tritian safety cell. This is what provides that five-star safety rating. So what we've got here in blue are what they call crash boxes. Now these resist impacts into the frame at speeds of up to about 15 miles an hour before energy and actual any impact energy gets into the frame of the car. Now the red area, that is micro alloyed steel. And you'll notice that the steel goes front to back, and then side to side. So you've got more reinforcement if you were to get into an impact in the front of the rear, and also more reinforcement if you've got into an impact, a side impact. So you see that red there going from left to right throughout the cabin. Now this is 33% stronger than your standard steel. And basically, it's just in key areas to reinforce the frame of the car, keep it true to its form. I mean, this thing's like a little wrecking ball, really. It will stay its shape. If you run into something else with this car, that other car is going to have a bad day. And this is the Tritian safety cell, very much like a NASCAR roll cage or like a hard walnut shell. You see here going through the door, you've got two steel beams right there going up in the door but very much like a nascar roll cage so you've got that tubular frame that the nascar has and then you've just got a plastic skin placed over top so that's what you've got here you've got the tree and safety cell which is this black swoop goes throughout the whole car and then you've just got the plastic skin put on top of that so actually to the dmv this car is registered as a black car because the body panels are interchangeable with those plastic panels And that's the Tritian safety cell there. So sometimes when people talk about the Tritian safety cell, they'll say it's made of a sandwich style construction. And what that means is, you see the three layers of steel in there? Basically those are sandwiched together for reinforcement. Let's see if I can get closer here so you can see a good, there you go, there's the three layers. You got the one on the bottom, the middle, and then there's one on top. And that's also why, of course, it's called the Tritian safety cell. What we've got right here, this is a head and thorax airbag. So this airbag comes out of the side of the seat, and it protects your head and thorax. The benefit of it coming out of the side of the seat, instead of coming out of that top curtain, like most, most vehicles nowadays, is no matter where you are in the car, whether you have the seat all the way back or all the way in the front of the cabin, the Head and thorax airbag is always going to open up in the right place to protect your head and your body here. So then, of course, up front, you've got your dual zone airbags. All these systems were, were designed and built by Mercedes-Benz. All the technology that's on the car, as far as safety goes, is handed down directly from Mercedes-Benz. Now, again, this frame is right in my showroom, right at Smart Center South Charlotte. You see, this is the cutaway for the passenger airbag here. Again, dual zone, and you have seatbelt pretensioners and all that good stuff. That's all directly from Mercedes Benz. So, this is the Tritian safety cell, and it's pretty much the entire car. It is the entire car. So, from the back view here, you can also notice the tubular design of the seat frame. A tubular design is some of the, str the strongest way to get things 
to hold their form. But this is how the car got its five-star safety rating. And I went through nine, it's been through nine standardized tests. The car can actually support 5.2 times its weight on its roof. That's one new rollover test that uh, just came out for, I think, the late part, the later part of 2009. They started testing these cars in rollovers, all cars, that is. And this car actually got better scores than a lot of midsize SUVs, outscored them. 5.2 times its weight. You can actually almost put up two Chevy Tahoes on its roof. And all they were looking for is just a little bit of a crinkle right there. And then that would conclude the test. Just a little bit of a pinch on, on either the A-pillar or the back part. And that would stop the test 5.2 times its weight. And the car weighs about 1,800 pounds. So the Tritian safety cell. The smart car is extremely safe, and it proves it time and time again that small can be safe. Well, thank you so much. From Smart Center South Charlotte, I'm Ben Rudnick. I hope you had fun, saw a little bit, maybe something that you've never seen before. Come down and check us out. We'd love to go for a test drive, and we'd love to share the fun.